Okay, I'm barefaced because we're doing a, a foundation review that I said I would do. My eyes been like acting up. If you hear snoring, farting, grunting, any of that, it's because Dustin's over here trying to sleep. <laughs> but he won't get up. It's like 12 in the afternoon. He won't get up. And I want to do my makeup, so. If you hear any sounds, it's not me, okay? He's just right over there. <laughs> And so is Baby. Baby's in his crib over there. Baby woke up at like 7.30 for breakfast. Such an independent child. Gave him a bowl of fruits. Put on his show. He watched it. He chilled. Around 10, he decided to come back to bed. <laughs> but we're doing the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Tati reviewed it. I don't really try different foundations. Because I... I don't ever go through all my foundation, I don't think. I think I've done it once. Once? Right? <laughs> and that's a lot to say because Dustin's been with me for three years. I buy foundation, but I've only finished one bottle in the three years. <laughs> oh, okay. But we're going to try this one. And this might be a little too dark, but I ordered this one first and that one's too light. So we might have to mix that's the beauty of it. We can just go ahead and mix it a little. So, I'm going to grab that. I don't know. I feel like it might be the right shade. It is scented, so I'm kind of scared I'm going to get a migraine from it. I might mix in a little bit of this just to, just in case it oxidizes. Because if I get too dark of a shade, it turns orange on me. And Dustin will let me walk around like that. Because <laughs> he's... Oh, but the, in his defense, he can't see red. So that orangey tone, he doesn't see it as orange until it's too late in, in the sun. <laughs> I think, yeah, there we go. I had to mix the two. This is better. This is much better than the other shade. Anyway. Um, I didn't even look up any of the info. I got this off of Ulta. Ulta's website because I could not find it in store anywhere near me. Look at that. That's a great match, actually. Wow. Ooh. Wonderful. So, it's like a pump of each is what I'm using at the moment. Going back in. I might need a little bit more. Oh my gosh. So, it's very liquidy. Extremely liquidy. There's no thickness to this whatsoever. But it's going on amazingly. Oh. So, again, I'm trying to make a little bit more of a mixture here. Um, I'm going to look up in a second the prices. Prices. It's only one price. But the price on these... At Ulta, because I think it's pretty decent priced. Oops, it's nothing like $30 or anything like that, like the other foundations. Because I know my ColourPop one was only $14, Maybelline's $15, L'Oreal Infallible's, I believe, $18 actually. But that one's one of my favorite ones too, if I ever get the match correct on the shade. Beauty Blender was normally, I believe, $40, but it's like on clearance lately. It's only been $20, especially on Sephora. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe they're reformulating. Maybe people don't actually like it. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, with the brush, it's gave me pretty decent coverage. Like, it did not hide the darkness on that zit that became a scar. Um... So it's not full, full coverage if you use a brush. I'll say that, which normally is weird because I get the most coverage with the brush, I think. So this is what I have. It did beautifully lay down. I like the finish of it. My skin just looks evened out. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look built up or anything like that so that's great the scent is definitely there though it's gonna bug me it's going to bug me so if I'm in a bad mood later Dustin knows why 
I get headaches and it makes me cringe. Okay, so this one's actually $11. I wish it wasn't scented. Here, since he's here, what does that smell like to you? It's like old office. It doesn't smell this. Since you're in here, you can help. You don't smell it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, here. It smells like old office, like the old timey perfumes to me. You smell it? Yeah. Is that what it smells like to you? I'm like, I don't know. It's not unpleasant, um, but it definitely smells artificial. It's all over my lips now. I hope it doesn't give me stomach ache. Okay, so now I'm going to do the rest of my face to see how everything works with it. If it picks up or if... Um, or if it just, you know, moves around. Oh, it feels silky. No tackiness. I like the way it feels. So, other than that, let's see. Because this is the Milani Foundation Cream de Powder. Yep, cream to powder foundation. I like to use it for my contour. I don't know. I just feel like it does better on my skin than most other stuff. It's easier to control too. So we're going to do this. And get it going. Into the areas. That I want to chisel out my little cheeks. I don't have much face space to work with. Destin said he's gonna try to be his quietest and all I hear is his nose squeaking over there. <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to get that to even out a bit. to go to work later today so the application isn't going to last for too long which is fine it's perfectly fine go like these so far from what i'm seeing it's not disturbing the way my um contour is applying which is good sometimes that can happen i don't see it moving or lifting it's really just blending nicely with it. I'm wondering if baby realized that I'm doing my makeup. And then I'm just going back in with the foundation to make sure I didn't mess up any of the... Already trying to keep it from going too far down. So I'm actually going to use the Beauty Blender Concealer today. It's more... It's not too light, so I like to use it when... I'm actually doing really good with my foundation and stuff. That and I'm getting tanner <laughs> with the more sun exposure. So don't want too much of a contrast because then it looks weird. In my opinion. Too bright and it looks out of place. It's just a soft brightening is what I want. that going like this and even with all the padding and the concealer and stuff because the concealer is a th little bit of a thicker consistency the foundation is holding its ground it's not moving it's not doing anything weird to the concealer itself it's actually blending even better than normal. It's just melting right in. Which I appreciate because it's less work for me because of the blending. Yeah, that. That did great. Oh. Okay. Alrighty then. We're good on that aspect. And now I'm going to set my face with powder because that is it for any of the wet products, cream products that I'm using. So I'm just going with the Maybelline Fit Me powder that I love using. This one's light medium. 
not quite up to my normal shade that I would already be by normally just haven't been going out too much you know I always forget to introduce myself and then when I remember I'm like I also forgot to contour my nose <laughs> I'll do that in a second that's the other thing about the um Milani probably the foundation the cream de powder foundation that I like is the fact that I do forget to contour my nose quite often <laughs> and it allows me to go back in and not disturb the powder and the other products that I've already put on my nose and I can contour it because I'm forgetful like that so let me go back in let me contour my nose like I said I just like how it, it like makes it a bit thinner just like not dramatically thinner just a bit because I just follow this natural line like this and then we're going to do the other side just put it on there subtle contour I'm doing the subtle contour I don't like this with the one where it's like super dark I don't know it looks like it doesn't look too nice in my opinion when it's super dark and Makes it look muddy. It's the nicest way I can put it. Muddy. Okay. And then we're going to go in with one of my favorite blushes that I keep using over and over. It's the Milani Bake Blush in Red Vino. It's just, I don't know. For my skin tone, I think it is the perfect shade. I will... I will accept your um, criticism if you say it's not or your disagreement. But um, I will continue doing it anyway. <laughs> This is my favorite blush for myself. Once I started using it correctly and I found out how to like really pat it on there and really get the rosiness to complement and blend into the contour, I just never went back. Never went back and I won't. Cause look, I like it. Makes me feel nice. And then, let me see. I think I will go with this one, the ColourPop one again, this really bright pink one. As always, I do like to add a bit of color back to right here, the very like, tippy tip of my cheek right there, just underneath the eye, because it always goes too pale, but it covers my bags that are right under the eye. That makes sense. So, we'll look a little sun kiss. I actually do get sun that I don't. But I want to look like I do. So, that is it for the foundation part of it. So far, everything has blended wonderfully. And I think this is the best my skin has looked. Doing a look. So, that is going to be it. I will check back in once I'm done with my eyeshadow and my lips. Because that's going to be a separate video. Um, testing out a eyeshadow palette so i'm actually going to do editing on this one but i'll cut back with you guys in a little bit once the eye look is going okay so i'm doing a little check-in after i've done my eyeshadow Ooh, wonderful right like oh okay but that's a separate video uh, that one will probably go up before the foundation review but um this is how it's looking right now there's no creasing there is nothing's budged like i said it did not cover that little bit of a um blemish scar that I have right there from the zip that I recently had but that's very dark this is what we are looking at I got really up in your in your face so you could see but I am I'm still very happy like it feels nice no tackiness nothing doesn't feel powdery at all I'm like let me that's a wet napkin so we can't use that one to see I'm gonna grab this cotton round kind of pat my head my forehead like this there's nothing on the cotton round as of yet. My nose is the one that gets pretty bad. Oh, there's nothing on that one either. And no, I did not use setting spray. I really want to put this to the test. Um, kind of unfair because I normally do use setting spray with my foundations. But it is what it is. I want to see what the foundation itself can do on its own before I give it that extra little oomph with the setting spray and everything. But so far, so good. 
And I will check in with you guys probably around 5 or 6. I don't know how long I will want to keep the makeup on because I tend to want to nap before I go to work. So, yeah. But, till then, I will keep you guys updated. Okay, so what time is it now? It's been four hours since I finished up the look. Oh, darn it. Oh, God, oh there we go. All the way Sorry, we're in the parking lot trying to find a spot to park in. Try to go through, okay, just go. Just Why didn't you just put your turn signal on? Okay, because well, I thought he was going for it. Okay, so. <laughs> he was here first. I was being a good citizen. So we're, we're, we're trying to park, trying to find a close parking spot because Mara doesn't like walking. But here's an up three, four hour update because it's 351. So four hour update on my foundation. I have not touched up because I don't like touching up to begin with. I don't carry a bad girl. Lip gloss is gone, but my lips still feel moisturized. There's no creasing, I don't think. I'm not overly oily. Is there any creasing? Slightly. Anything more than the usual though? I don't no. think so. It's normal. This one always. It's always this side, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this side always. But other than that, I don't look shiny. Super shiny. Do I? Mm -hmm. So, so far I'm looking like I just applied my makeup, really. Because normally that's always there. So, yep, four hour check in and we're still looking good. Not shiny. The little spot right there. Nothing emphasizing, emphasized. <laughs> so we're doing good. But, alright, I'll see you guys probably in like another three hours or so. Um, I'm probably going to end up taking a nap in my makeup. Don't do that if you have sensitive skin. But, um, just because I tend to take a nap before I go to work. But I'll see you guys then. Alright, so it is now... 4:34, so not too long after my last check, and this is me in my room with my norm, with my like vanity mirror lighting, and still there's no breaking apart of this foundation. I am ready to take a nap, so this is probably it for today. The temperature is humid at a beautiful 80 degrees Fahrenheit here in Georgia. So I do think that this is actually a really nice foundation. It's a full coverage, not completely. It might just be my application that wasn't the best. Maybe if I use the sponge, it'd be different. I'll test out different ways of using it. And I will update you guys on here, on Instagram, stuff like that, like I normally do. But I like the way it feels, okay? Like, the way it feels is nice. It's not tacky. It's not sticky. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Like, this is probably the lightest foundation I have tried in a while. And that's really it. That's it to surmise everything today. I definitely do think if I had used my setting spray, it would have completely stayed matte. And that is it. I definitely do think you should go get this. 11 bucks for decent size. One fluid ounce. 1.01 1 .01 fluid ounce. You get 0 0.01 ounces more. Um, and as always, you know, if you need to pick up two shades to customize it, I definitely would. Um, it will last you a while, and that is it for my update. I am going to take a nap before I have to go to work, and I will probably continue to make other videos. I will see you then. Bye!